studying leeches for around 10 years. Bonnie and I actually met in a uh, grant writing course when I was doing my master's degree. Our first date involved going out to a Mexican restaurant and then going out and collecting leeches afterwards. So uh, basically I knew that Bonnie was perfect once uh, she said that she'd go leech collecting with me. <laughs> During the course of our research we've actually made some interesting discoveries. In fact we've been able to describe several new species and at least one new genus. Most people really don't understand a lot about leeches. In fact, they think of leeches as blood-sucking monstrosities that will attack you as you're walking through the bush. And this really isn't an accurate uh, portrayal of leeches, because many of them are actually very good parents. Yeah, I think leeches are misunderstood. Are they cool as long as they're not sucking blood out of me? Because I hate having to cut them off. That's right. They're like your ears. Do you want to hold them? No, don't you That's dare. That's right, you can hold them. <laughs> Looks a lot like my lawyer, actually. Blood-sucking. What do you think of these? Uh, um, I'm a big fan of leeches, actually. <laughs> you had any uh, experiences with leeches before? Uh, yeah, I've caught a few on the legs a couple of times. Not very, not very nice, not very pretty. Do you like leeches? No. No, I don't like leeches. Don't show many leeches. Don't. <laughs> Leeches are truly amazing animals, and there's a lot that we can learn about them. One thing that most people don't really recognize is that they have parental care. And we can learn a lot about the evolution of parental care by studying these rather simple animals. And in fact, we can learn more about ourselves and other vertebrates such as birds and mammals. One leech family, the family Glossophonidae, has extended parental care where the parents actually care for the eggs and young in a way that is very similar to birds. Leeches are well known for their antisocial behavior, but in fact there are between 700 and 1,000 species of leeches, with many of them actually being predators, feeding on invertebrates, insects, snails, and things like that. Parental care can vary from really tending the eggs in a nest to retaining the eggs and juveniles on the parent's ventral surface to actually marsupial leeches. I'll introduce you to one of our favorite leeches, uh, Helabdella papillonata. This is our study animal. Here he is. Leeches are not very well studied, and Glossophonids, being one of the major groups of leeches, are probably one of the least known of them all. We chose Helabella papillonata as a study organism because it really has a lot of complex behaviors that we really kind of expect in birds, but not so much in the invertebrates. And so by studying this leech species, we can learn a lot about the evolution of complex behaviors um, by really understanding it in a more simple system. By comparing different parental care strategies in different leech species, we can get the range of parental care types that we see in vertebrates within a single family. And so by using simple organisms like leeches, we can gain insights into ourselves. Parental care in leeches ranges from nesting in an external nest, like a rock or a leaf or something like that, where the eggs are actually attached to the substrate, to the nest being attached to the parent itself, to actually a marsupial pouch. Parental care in Glossophon and leeches um, can actually enhance the survival of the offspring by providing energy, protection, and oxygen to the developing eggs and juveniles during their vulnerable stages. Here we see a mother leech in action hunting a snail. Now during this care period, the parent will actually feed the juveniles by capturing prey and then providing that prey to the uh, juveniles. They will ventilate the eggs and juveniles while they're developing and of course they will protect them from predators and other hostile um, events. Also leeches are social in some ways. Uh, these ones will actually form large groups or aggregations and of course there's safety in numbers. Also they will care for offspring that are not their own so they will actually babysit. And 
by living in these groups, they can distribute the, uh, the costs of hunting among a number of individuals. So if one individual hunts on one day, it may get a free meal the next day. And then, of course, that one will out, go out and hunt again. And so the energy is kind of dispersed amongst all of the individuals within a group. This species of leech takes care of the eggs for a long period of time, but doesn't take care of the juveniles. In fact, they only take care of the juveniles for up to four days. This species, on the other hand, takes care of the eggs for a relatively short period of time and actually cares for the juveniles for up to two or three months. And so they're investing more in the juvenile stage than in the egg stage. Whereas this... Bonnie!